he tells you that where is where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You tell him he is attributed with hearing and sight. But he's gonna tell you, wait a minute, that's not what I asked you. I didn't ask you if he's attributed with hearing and sight. I said, Where is he? It says he's Jabbar. But where is he? He's Rahman Rahim. Where is he? He is Basir, Khabir, Alim, Shaheed, Ba'ath, Mu'min, Mutakabir, Aziz, Qadir, Qahir. He's going to tell you about it. Wait a minute, I'm not asking you about this. I want to know where he is. You have to tell him, I'm giving you the attributes of Allah and I cannot give you an attribute of the creation. These are his attributes. You want to know about Allah? Here's his attributes. Where would indicate you want me to give you a creation? Allah is in a place. Allah is not designated with a place. Then you tell him Allah exists without a place. Because he's not in need of a place. Because he eternally existed before he willed for the creation of place without a place. Because I need a place, you need a place. Now some people say, well, if he exists without a place, that means he exists in a, in a non-place. Uh, that, that can't, that's impossible. The reason it's impossible in their minds, because for them, they think Allah is like the creation. The creation cannot exist without a place, so therefore they say Allah does not exist without a place. But we say Allah exists without a place because He eternally existed before the place. Wasn't He? Didn't He? He has to say yes. If He say, didn't He exist before the place? He will say either yes or no. If He says, no, the place existed with Allah, that means he's giving one attribute of Allah to the place. That means the universe is also eternal, which is kufr, which because Allah says, Who al He is eternal. Only him. Okay. And of course the hadith says that too. Okay. So he has to say that Allah existed in eternity before the place. So this is the question now. So are you trying to tell me that after Allah uh, Allah existed in eternity before the place with no place? And then after he willed for the creation of place, he dwelt into the place now? He made one, took one piece of it and made it his residence? Is that what they're saying? That's kufr. Dwelling, change of state, being encompassed in a place, limited by the place. I can, we can, I can run you down a list. Impossibility. Allah existed. Allah is not a mass or physic, physical existence per se or a uh, 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 occupies space. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what we know about him is what I just told you. When he said where? Sami'u an basir. Alim, khabir. Huwa al-mu'min, huwa al-mutakabbir, huwa al-aziz, huwa al-jabbar. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, amma yushrikun. We believe in him with his attributes of perfection. And we clear him from attributes of non-perfection. Which are by definition attributes of the creation. They are imperfect. So, what do we know about him? We can't, we're, we cannot conceive him. Delusions cannot conceive him and they cannot imagine him. And that's what Islam is submission. Submission is, is submission in Allah, not in, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better.